Hello everyone, this is Dr. Isam El Zaini, Head of Translation and International Relations at El Farat Al Awsat Technical University, ATU Iraq. On behalf of Professor Mudafar Al Zuhairi, the Chancellor of ATU University, I'm going to talk about navigating COVID 19 pandemic and building resilience, a case study of Al Farat Al Awsat Technical University, ATU Iraq. The COVID-19 pandemic has created the largest disruption of education systems and in particular the higher education system in human history. Social distancing and restrictive movement policies have significantly disturbed traditional educational practices. Indeed, returning to the original operation state of universities campuses after relaxation of restriction is another challenge with many new standard operating procedures. University resilience. University resilience often refers to how an academic institution can return quickly to the normal educational conditions after facing disruption. It would be the key role for of uh, survival of any higher education system. In this respect, current article adopts a case study of Al Falat Al Awsat Technical University ATU, a young technical public university based in Al Najaf city in Iraq. So, despite those uh, challenges raised by COVID 19 pandemic, the current study highlights the five important steps undertaken by ATU leaders that aid ATU University to make the necessary changes and uh, reconsider its uh, vital role. Uh, and responsibility in society. The first step is to planning for various scenarios. It seems worthy to mention that all Iraqi universities, including public and private ones, are governed by rules and instructions issued by the Iraqi Ministry of Higher Education and Scientific Research. Therefore, uh, decisions of uh, reopening or returning to the normal operation and including partial or incremental operations, may have a concise time frame. In this respect, ATU has established a special community from the deans of scientific faculties led by the Vice Chancellor for Management and Administrative Affairs. The main responsibilities of this committee are to interpret, facilitate, and apply such ministerial order and report back the readiness of their scientific facilities to the University Chancellor. The second step is building an emergency reserves fund. In fact, establishing certain types of university infrastructure to accommodate sudden educational interruption would definitely require pre reserved budgets. Since March 2022, ATU set a goal for, of achieving an emergency reserve fund based on its annual income and expenditures. Based on the figure below, ATU should currently have around 122 million Iraqi dinars as an emergency reserve fund, and this uh, fund will be increased year after year. Next stage is to establish an emergency contingency plan. Since February 2020, ATU's Higher Chancellery Board started developing emergency contingency plans, at which point the responsibility was then passed to the newly formed Special Committee. The established plans start from the main chancellery site down to the scientific faculties, college and institute, scientific departments, and end up at scientific labs and employee groups. Such plans are normally reviewed and updated by the special community for comp competence, consistency, continuity assurance, and mature comp 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 compatibility making recommendations for any needed change. The next stage is to developing the IT infrastructure of the university. ATU upgrades its contract with the internet provider company, which this one is the first step that taken by the ATU University due to the 
COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, this step allows the university to provide free internet access for students who cannot afford to purchase it through uh, offering them free prepaid internet vouchers. Also, ATU allows <coughs> uh, uh, students from poor families to borrow laptops, tablets, and sometimes smartphones to attend online lectures and exams. And also, ATU installed interactive smart light boards in all its five different sites, colleges, institutes, and made them available for lectures and professors to teach and pre recording their lectures. Also, ATU faces on uh, using virtual labs and simulation tools during the full lockdown period, while ATU divides students in groups maintaining social distance and health precautions during the experiments. This after the uh, restrictions uh, orders uh, partially eased and allowed some students to go back to the uh, normal life at uh, uh, university campuses. Also, uh, ATU faces on uh, all staff that and students should have the priority for obtaining COVID-19 vaccination. Final stage is to recognizing and planning for the mental health needs of returning students, faculty, and staff. Since its formation in March 2020, the special committee planned to staff and the students returning to ATU campuses. Plans include establishing new and renovating the existed in campus sports stadiums, students' accommodation buildings, and their related facilities, bicycle stations, and in campus media radio stations. Such a project aims to distress students and staff as well as encourage them to have a new healthy lifestyle. They also promote social interactions between different groups. Aiming to improve the staff and student health and wellness, ATU prepares a series of workshops to educate people on attaining health diets as it could boost their mood and energy level improve memory and achieve better brain functions. ATU also carried out programs that encourage students and staff to be active and having regular exercise such as walking, jogging, swimming, and cycling. Such physical activities have been proven to reduce symptoms of anxiety and depression and improve mood and blood circulation. Other programs aim to divide students to groups according to their preferred hobbies at which point ATU University encourages them to engage in. In conclusion, reopening and or returning to normal procedures, including partial and experimental operations, may become a challenging practice for many academic institutions. In this respect, the current study faces uh, five important steps established and implemented by Al Farat Al Awsat Technical University leadership, which believes it could help other universities to overcome such uncertainties. These include advanced planning, locating reserved emergency funds, building emergency plans, developing the university's IT infrastructures, and improving staff and students' mental health. So we come to the end. Thank you very much. Thank you a lot for good listening and please time for questions.